ocean is one of my favorite places. I traveled to Redondo Beach, California to visit the Aglaite Marine Research Foundation. This is what they showed me. In 1997, Captain Charles Moore, the founder of the Ugalita Marine Research Foundation, discovered a huge garbage patch floating in the North Pacific Gyre. Captain Moore and his team of researchers used a manta trawl to see how much plastic was floating on the surface of the ocean. And all he was looking at was the surface uh, plastic, the, the floating plastic, and found out that there was six times more plastic than there was plankton. starve because of all the plastic that's in their stomach. Research has to be done on that, studying how the, um, the contaminants that are coming out of the plastic as well as those that absorb to the plastic are being ingested. challenged me to see how much plastic I could find on the beach across the street from their lab. I was surprised how quickly I filled the bag that they gave me. I decided to come home to see how things in my own city looked. First, I visited the Baylands. the creek. Getting people to uh, understand, you know, that if plastic is, grows out, goes out the window or, you know, doesn't make it into the trash can or something like that, that it might end up into the ocean by going through the watershed. I collected some
some of the plastic in my life and realized I could make changes. What can kids do? Kids can do the, the same thing that, that anybody can do. You know, they can uh, stop uh, using one-use items, one-time use items. They can take bags to the store so that, you know, we don't need as many to, to use as many plastic bags. They told me how important recycling is too, so plastic like this isn't found floating in the ocean. I don't know what the future holds for getting all the plastic that is already there out of the ocean, but I do know that I can help to stop it from getting worse.